Hi, I'm Simon Walsh, Head of Maths Doctor. We teach maths to students live over the internet, but today I'm going to be helping you with some mathematical problems. Hi, this is about understanding percentages. What are percentages and why do we need them? Well, percentages can be very useful if you want to compare things. Let's say, for example, I wanted to look at how many people use an iPhone on their way to work in the morning on a train. I might want to look at London and compare that to California. Well, let's do that. Here's two trains. One is the London Underground and the other is the Metrolink in California. Now, if I do a quick count of how many people are using an iPhone on the London Underground, I find that there are actually 30 people. But if I do the same count in California, I see there's also 30 people. So it looks as though they're very similar. You might even say that they're exactly the same. However, let's look at this in a bit more detail. If we consider how many people are on the train in London, we see that there's 180. But in California, there's only 60 people. So now it doesn't actually look that similar. Is it fair to say they're exactly the same? Well, not really. So sometimes when you're counting things, it can be confusing or misleading, and we need a better way to measure and compare. That's where percentages come in. They can be very helpful. What percentages do, they allow us to imagine that both groups are actually the same size. So essentially imagining that there's the same number of people on each train. And now you can see that in London, there's a smaller proportion of people using an iPhone compared to the total than there is in California. So I've introduced the idea of proportion here, and that's what percentages are all about. They help us to find a measure for proportion so we can figure it out exactly. Let's look at this in a bit more detail. Trains crash all the time, about once every week, apparently. Now, if I told you that, you might think that trains were a bit dangerous or a bit scary. However, if I told you there was over five million train journeys every day, suddenly this puts things in a perspective. And in fact, it doesn't look quite so bad. So that's what percentages do. They allow us to put things into perspective, to measure proportion exactly.